Okay, so um, <clears throat> welcome everybody, another Sunday to Rusty Church. My name is Coldest, I'm from Spain, and I will be your, your pastor for today. If you remember, uh, uh, last week we were uh, teaching Mark 1, and today we will be finishing the second part of Mark 1. Sorry. And so before getting right into, into the service, I would like to remember you all uh, that uh, that everyone is always welcome in here, no matter your beliefs at all. You're always welcome to stay a while and listen here. Uh, I would recommend you to check our website, brcharge.org or mmo.charge, to find our, our our Discord and many, many info about us. <laughs> I am getting a TP request just a second. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> and, um, yeah, check uh, check our website, uh, check our Discord, and remember we also have other charges planted in Outspace, in VR chat, and in Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, welcome, Nemesis. Get comfy, grab, grab a seat. <laughs> okay, so before getting right into it, I would like to begin by by praying a little bit. So <clears throat> I I, I want to thank you, Lord, as always, for this crazy opportunity for all these people here and for making all of this uh, a reality. I would also like to, to pray for everyone going through a rough times and, you know, for things to get better for everyone and everywhere. Amen. Okay, <clears throat> so Mark 1. Uh, I'm going to be teaching the second part. Uh, those are verses 29 and onwards. So, uh, I, I, I came into some uh, interpretations of these verses while getting everything ready, and I would like to share some of them with you all today. So, Mark 1 is filled to the brim with Jesus performing miracles and healing other people, people in need. And after having healed Simon's mother-in-law, he, he, I mean Jesus, went into the wilderness to pray and, and to rest for a while. And I feel, I got the feeling I already shared a similar message before, but still, Jesus was doing so many great things for, for everyone in need. And even though he was the Son of God, he still needed some rest from time to time. And I think we can all agree on don't do upon others what you don't want done unto yourself. And I think we can also agree and, uh, and feel the same way when I say do nice things for others, do the same nice things you would like to see happening for yourself. But I feel it's easy and we often forget to treat ourselves the same way we, we like treating other people. From time to time we all need to stop and take some time to breathe in and to savor the moment. We need to take care of ourselves the same way we care we care for others. And at the end of the day, what good can we do for others if we aren't doing okay ourselves? <laughs> and so going on, uh, as I said before, Mark 1 is, uh, you know, is filled to the ring with Jesus performing miracles and healing other people. And, you know, this would essentially Convince, convince every witness to believe in him, to believe, you know, what he was doing was real and he was the son of God. And, you know, obviously I think at the end of the day it would be natural to think there is something special going on if you saw a person perform what we could consider to be magic, basically. <laughs> but, but I guess here, here, right here is the whole thing. Because I don't think Jesus is performing these miracles just to, you know, just to do the actual miracle thing. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I think Jesus is performing these miracles to, to, pro to prove a point, to get to us and to let us see he and God are, are real and they love us. The miracles are just a tool, not the message itself. The miracles are the means and not the end. While performing these miracles, Jesus hoped for us to realize the truth, for us to be better versions of what we are right now. 
I think we just can't depend on miracles. Even though it would be real nice to be blessed by one, we need to get them done ourselves. In our earthly nature, and however we can we can make them a reality. And well, I'm getting extra dramatical today, but <laughs> but uh, I think this was a, a very beautiful note and a and a fantastic note to to end our our service for today. But just before before dismissing you all, I would like to of course close in prayer. So thank you again, Lord, for this opportunity and for all the people. Uh, thank you for these festivities too. Thank you for Halloween and. And you know, thank you for the day of the death. Please make sure everyone celebrating that is is going through a through a good time because those can those can prove to be difficult uh, dates for for a lot of people. And yeah, also like everything is getting better for me now. And I will also like to thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for the happy moments and thank you for all the people around me. Amen.